Hi there, this is Fixed It. I've been receiving quite a lot of contacts from uh, users of GarageBand 10 and Mavericks who seem to be experiencing quite a lot of uh, audio and sample file errors. It seems that rather than GarageBand 10 being more stable than the previous GarageBand 11, um, there seems to be increasing numbers of audio related uh, problems. Um, with files becoming corrupted, converting themselves to 8-bit um, or just becoming broken. I've had a look at some of the problems people are having and I've created this video to show some of the effects. Here's a working garage band song um, that I've used in the past that I've added a few more bits to uh, and this one's called Jazzy Arch Good um, because I have another one that's called Jazzy Arch Bad. So if I play this Okay, so the song's working, we're quite happy with it, it's making a lot of noise but that's deliberate um, And so we close it down We'll save that and what I've done is I've created a copy of the song um, but with some of the uh, damage files with the usual sorts of damage that you get to uh, GarageBand files. Opening the Jazzy Arc bad causes GarageBand to uh, put up an alert that says GarageBand found two audio files in 8-bit format. This format is unsupported and cannot be played back. And we can hit continue and it will continue to give us error messages. If we now play the song we can see that there's actually a uh, silent area here and this is basically where the original 8-bit damage track was. Now there's a simple fix to this, if you already have the sample elsewhere uh, within the song or it's easily available. Option clicking on the sample causes it to come over and it will display the alert message again and you say OK and copy that sample over the other empty space, this time we don't get an error message. And now if we go back So all that's left to do is to save this as a new name and if we do save as and we do repaired and hit save that tracks now repaired now if I close out of this song and close the window open existing song select the bad one again again we can just check that we're still getting all the same error messages okay so the bad one is still there it hasn't been touched and this time if we open jazzy arch repaired you can see that we now have a fully working song and uh, you're ready to continue Obviously the first thing you need to do is to pack this up and I'd say compress it as a zip so that you've got it somewhere safe so you don't lose it again. Of course that's okay for a really simple problem and uh, in this case a simple 8-bit error where the file isn't corrupted it is just 8-bit. Um, however there are much more complicated uh, situations and um, I'll be covering them in my next video. So this has been Fixed It, showing you a simple GarageBand 10 8-bit fix. 
I hope you like the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and please share it. Thanks for watching. Bye.